In the wonder of creation, we often find ourselves pondering the why behind it all. What is the priority, the purpose for which everything is made? We introduce the concept of LEC, Life Eternity Creation, as a framework to explore these questions. Life, the beginning of all. Eternity, the promise of perpetuity. Creation, the expression of God's intention. As we seek the objective of creation, we see a theater of redemption unfold. The entire cosmos exists so that the Creator can manifest a story of love, one that surpasses the ages, a tale where humanity reflects the ultimate glory. In this, LEC becomes not just an acronym, but a symbol of the divine narrative that aligns with the purpose of glorifying and serving, echoing through eternity as the Creator's gift of love. Having said that, I hope you enjoy this quick two-minute video featuring John MacArthur as he delves into these profound life questions. If you find this video enlightening, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Your support is crucial, especially in a world where Christian voices often face challenges. By subscribing, you're not just enjoying content, you're performing a duty as a Christian to aid fellow believers in spreading the gospel message. Also, don't forget to explore some of the enlightening sermons available on our channel. God bless each and every one of you for watching today. Why did God create? Why? What was his priority? What's the priority for the creation? What's the purpose for which he made everything? What's the goal? What's, what's the end game here? What's this all about? And I'm sure if you've thought at all about cosmic things like that, you've asked yourself, why am I here and what's this all about? There has to be a purpose for this. There has to be a scheme. There has to be an end. There has to be an objective for, for the creation itself. What, what is the objective? What is God doing? What is he accomplishing? Does this just go on until we all die in Al Gore's nightmare? Is that where we're going? The entire creation is a stage. It's a theater. It's a theater for redemption. The whole creation exists so that God can call a bride to heaven for his son. Most people think that the love that's operating in redemption the, the greatest love is God's love for sinners. It isn't. That's a secondary love. The primary love is the Father's love for the Son. And the Father so perfectly, inexhaustibly, and eternally loves the Son that He must give to the Son an expression of that love, which is a redeemed humanity, and at the same time put on display His mercy and grace, compassion, kindness. God determined redemption to bring to final glory a redeemed humanity for the sole purpose of glorifying the Son and serving the Son and, and literally reflecting the Son's glory forever and ever and ever. All of that as a love gift from the Father to the Son.